Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Timor 6, the never-ending channel meme. I have played the previous five games on this channel over the course of four years. It's been a very fun process. They're, they're typically not very good games if you're unfamiliar with the series, but they are entertaining usually. It has been two years since Timor 5. I wasn't even sure if we were going to get a six game, but here it is. I'm going to go into this one with an open mind. Usually I go into the Timor sequels very cynically, especially when they were coming out one after another very quickly like they were in the early days. But this one took two years. So, maybe it'll be good. It is $10 on Steam, which is more expensive than the developer's previous projects. And it is episodic, which is also intriguing, so we're only going to be playing the first chapter, I think, in this video. Anyway, uh, Timor is an endless source of fascination for many of you out there. Big channel meme, very excited to get into it. Let's go ahead and get started. New game. Oh, okay. We're just kind of flying around, huh? So, the only thing that really binds together the Timor games are these mannequins that show up. You've probably seen them in a YouTube thumbnail at some point. The day has come. A very long one. Voice acting. For Emily. For Rufus. But mostly for you, Vince. Take care of Emily. I hope you won't find me, Vince. Long pause there. So, wife tells her husband. She's going away, won't tell him where she's going, but tells him not to look for her. What game does that sound like? <gasps> <laughs> Baby crying, okay. Interesting. So this is already not what I was expecting at all. Q to command Rufus, what? <laughs> Hello, soundless dog. Hey. I'm here, see? No need to cry. Good girl. Back to sleep now. That's all it takes. Parents out there, you need to learn some tips from this game. <laughs> That's all you gotta do to make him stop crying. Hi, Rufus. I don't have a treat for you, buddy. Wait, he does make sound. You just gotta be really close to him to hear it. Okay. Well, I didn't command you to come towards me, Rufus. Do what you're told, please. Peek? Okay, so there's just a dude standing outside. Why is he standing over there? Guess he's drunk again. I hope he won't come asking to pay the rent today. Yeah, I hope he doesn't give me money. <laughs> I would hate that. I should just take the pills and end it all. That's... That's dark, Vince. You have a wife and kid. Maybe don't end it all. Is this a washer or a dryer? Hi! <laughs> Can I get some privacy, please? There's no door on the bathroom. What happens when you have guests over? Hey, man, thanks for coming over to watch the big game on our non-existent TV. Bathroom's right over there. We'll watch you poop. It'll be fun. So, yeah, I guess maybe this is just a washer and they air dry everything. Wait. I'm out of beer, Vince. Time to pay the rent. Oh, he's the landlord. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I thought he was a tenant, and I thought that Vince was complaining, like, I hope he doesn't try to give me money today. Let the neighbor in? Yeah. That's it. I'm coming in, Vince. Oh! <laughs> what? What just happened? That escalated very quickly. <laughs> Wow, Rufus straight up murdered him. <gasps> Your child is injured. You have a few moments before she's gone. How is she injured? I can give you a chance to save your daughter, Emily, Vince. I'll talk about this text in a minute. Although I'm not sure if you even want another opportunity. 
It is coming, Vince. Yes. Yes, please. What? Don't take my kid. Mysterious cultist cyclops man. I mocked Emily so you'd be able to find her. Now go and hide in your neighbor's apartment. What? Why? Hide in this dude's apartment? Why? Why am I doing that? Shouldn't, shouldn't I want to care about my child? Where'd his body go? Look, she got a little blood on her, but that's just because he was rude and bled everywhere. So, the text there, it had a white outline, right? But it had a lot of little dots around it. I think those might be... <laughs> that might be because there was, like, a stroke put on them, but it also outlined little bits around the text, and they weren't erased. And they made those extra dots that looked kind of, kind of bad. I don't know, maybe the developer just liked it that way. That sometimes happens when you do a stroke on an image. It gets extra stuff. Who is this? Ooh. Eyeball cloak man. Very intimidating. <laughs> Hi. Why was I told to go hide in my neighbor's apartment? This kind of reminds me of Hellraiser a bit. What? Hi, Rufus. <laughs> Wait, so I'm in my neighbor's apartment. The landlord didn't have much here. Probably spent everything on alcohol. I wish he had something valuable. Why? So you could steal it? Why did we just abandon our baby? I know, like, the Cyclops cultist man came in and told us to, but... Why? Now we're having to just go back into our apartment and save her from... Eyeball man. <gasps> She's gone. Emily's gone. What the hell is happening? Well, you did leave her alone in the apartment with the door wide open, so... I don't know what you expected. But she's been marked, so I'm able to find her. Thanks to the very nice Cyclops dude. Control to crouch. Why am I crouching? Is there a reason? Okay, we're going up. Come on, Rufus. Don't kill the dog, Timor Dev, please. Lie. Morta's room. Who's Morta? It just says lie, and I can't open the door. Looks like there's a brick wall there anyway. Hmm. Who has pipes like this? <laughs> you didn't have any room in the wall? That's where they usually go. I like that you can clearly see the brick wall behind the vent. The vent, like, doesn't actually go anywhere. More pipes! Who designed this place? They did a very bad job constructing this. I guess it makes for easy repairs, though. I heard a footstep. Okay. I guess we'll go out into the blue forest. Mm. My name is Oyer. I will guide you as much as I'm capable of. Put some pants on, please. But your decisions belong to you. Okay. I will also ask you to find one thing for me. What's that? But for now, just take the bus to the Brightern Park. Ah, the Brightern Park. The world-famous landmark. Let's go. Is Rufus still with me? Oh wait, I can tell him to stay. No, let's take him with us. He might be useful. Maybe he can fetch things for us. Neck barber shop. I guess they specialize in neck hair. Some people need that, but maybe they can just get it on their own and save some money. 
I wonder how that place stays in business. Very niche idea. Uh, okay. Which way do I go? I get why are, why are there traffic lights and a stop sign? <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of the traffic lights. Repayment guns. Wow. We live in a sick, sick world. There's a bus here. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to ask? My only option is no. I can't say yes. I would like to ask some things. Wait, where am I now? Hi, Rufus. Panting a lot. Maybe take a break, man. Drink some water. You'll be okay. Rosa likes this park. I wish she was here. How have you not wondered where she is? We saw her leave, and you didn't seem to question it at all. Very odd behavior, in my opinion. I like how the park just has random clearings with absolutely no vegetation. Kind of odd, considering that the grass is just growing wild everywhere else. I'm trying, guys. There's just not a lot to comment on in this game so far. I could just drown here. What about your baby that's been kidnapped by Eyeball Mage? That landlord. How dare he hurt my child? At least he's dead. <laughs> Can find a silver lining in any situation. At least Rufus murdered him. How did he hurt your child anyway? It looked like he fell into the crib. And then he just kind of collapsed and hit his head on something. I don't really see how he hurt your child. Why did he just beeline in there anyway? Where am I going? I've cut out about five minutes of wandering in this video so far. There's just nothing. It's just fences, trees, a shitload of grass, and then these weird clearings. Well, found something. Found a bridge. I don't remember this bridge being here before. Are you an expert on this labyrinthine park? There's a yellow circle here. Let's stand in it. Okay, the dog can go past it. I didn't know if it was like a warding circle or anything like that. Hmm. I guess we'll just cross the bridge. See you guys in 10 minutes. Oh, <laughs> you klutz. I'm done with all of this. What am I even doing here? What? I just fell down. What's happening to me? I think you're just clumsy, bro. I'm coming, Emily. Finally, some determination for the characters that you supposedly care about. I did enjoy watching him trip. Like, on what? It's completely flat. Come on, dog. Is Rufus evil? Okay, there's only, there's only a couple of different possibilities. Either Rufus is evil, or he's gonna die. Only two options. Did I see the Timor mannequin in in the background? The trademark mannequin. Oh, I thought I saw it. How does this relate to the rest of the series? I mean, they don't really have much to do with each other in the first place, but. My biggest jump scare. We gotta come up with a good uh, thumbnail face, guys. Although, really, it's just gonna be me, because you guys are in the future. But I'll act like we're collaborating on it. What about this? Is that one good? What about... okay. That one's good, but I think I could do more with the eyes. Maybe like... That looks really surprised, right? Let's go to the left. What about... That one's good, too. They're all good, really. My problem is that most of the time, when I'm recording these videos, I just sit here like this. And that's not a good thumbnail face. 
Nobody wants to click on a video where the dude in it looks like he's bored making it. Except for some of you guys. Some of you guys are weird. John looks like he really hated this one. I'm gonna check it out for sure. John looks miserable. I wouldn't say I'm miserable playing this so far. It depends on how long they drag out this freaking park. The only thing that's happened is we've crossed a bridge. Oh, I just realized in my thumbnail faces, I never included my hands in the shot. They, they either gotta be like, like that, or they gotta be like, or they gotta, like if, if you're really scared, like you're, like you're pushing your headphones off, Cause that's what you do. Proud to say, every single face that you see in any of the thumbnails of my videos, they're all screenshots from the video. They're not posed. I don't know why I do that. I honestly should just pose them, because who cares? Sometimes when I'm looking through the video, I'm like, I didn't make any interesting faces. <laughs> and that's a problem. Okay, we finally found something. Hi. Can I come in to your <laughs> log cabin in the middle of the park? Another man came to visit me. How did he know where to find you? He said I could find mommy and daddy if I wanted to. So I followed him. I might find that thief. What's what's going on with deepest Lord Timor right now? Who, Whose perspective? Well, Rufus is still here. He refuses to come in though. Oh, okay. Ah! What? Was I supposed to see something besides Rufus? So what would you even do here all day? Go to sleep, get up, make a fire, sit at a table with nothing in it? Your shelves are empty. No food, no entertainment. I mean, I guess we're moving on. It was nice to meet you. Thief. I might find that thief. What does that mean? Another bridge. Wait, this is a different one than when I was on before, right? This isn't the same one. Please don't tell me I made a gigantic circle. Oh no, maybe that's what the yellow circle is for. Oh no. I won't find out until I get to the other side. <gasps> Stop doing that! What, did Rufus take a swim too? This is a very loyal dog. You know, the game started off kind of interesting. And now it's like, why don't you just take a stroll through the park? This weird park with no paths just walking through constant brush. Being corralled by random fences that block off the rest of the park. Okay, left or right? We've been taking left this whole time, so let's go right this time. Are you kidding me? I wish I came to the park more often with Rosa. Okay, I guess we go back, because this is a dead end. Hey, where is Rosa? Maybe this is psychological horror. Maybe we killed Rosa. Wouldn't it be great to play another one of those games where we killed our spouse? Oh my God, you can sprint. You could sprint this entire time and I just didn't know. Okay, let's go. This is way better. What? Okay. The ancient Mayan temple has wooden desks. Oh, could you help me? I'm Vince, I've been sent here. Hello Vince, my name is Frank. What do you have? You've come to the right place, but we don't have much time. 
So just please, follow me. Nice knee pads, dude. <laughs> nice power glove. Alright. Let's follow power glove over there. He, was he waiting for me? I don't know. Down there? Why he just disappeared? He doesn't even wait for us to catch up? Where are the mannequins? Where Chapter one, trapped in the cage of ribs. Wait, so this is chapter one? Apartments. Is Rufus still with me? Thank God. Okay. I thought it was ending for a second and I was about to throw a fit. $10 to walk through a park? Oh, his heart fell off. Take a heart? Vince found a heart. <gasps> There's items. There's an inventory. No, that's great. Thank you. Gameplay. How dare you? It stops the pain. Okay. Oh no, Rufus. You're up to your neck, buddy. In blood. Oh. He's gone off the noose. What? Okay, I guess I'll leave now. Uh, 101. Let's open the door. There's a crib in here. Maybe Emily was taken here. Weird little horse. This has the classic Timor texture on it. Where it all looks like it's foil wrap. Love it. <gasps> Dead guy. He has bite marks. I wonder who did this. I don't know. I can't think of anyone that would bite someone like that. Hmm. Yeah. I, I like the tub that's not hooked up to anything. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Look at my painting. I'll give you what you want. Wow. Horse is very insistent on me looking at their painting. Let's, uh, let's look at it. Very nice. There's fog in the room now. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, hi, horse. <gasps> Is that another heart? Vince found a heart. Are we just collecting the hearts? I was hoping that, like... I don't know, we would be able to... We'd have, like, inventory puzzles. Wait, that's it! Oh, there's two heart, um... Slots right there. Cool! There's that texture. I've missed it. At least it's not plastered on literally everything. This time. Ooh. So sexy. She was beckoning us. Oh. I think this game's taking a lot of Silent Hill influence. No. Do not hesitate, Vince. Should I? No. But maybe do I, maybe I have to for story progression? Okay, no, I can't actually use it. That's probably good. Can I open this? Do I need to get like a hammer or something? Let's keep going. <gasps> it seems like these cables only connect walls with one another. Why are they here? <laughs> oh, this is on the other side of the wall. Okay. Let's open this door. Let's explore a little bit. <gasps> The guy's in the cage! Oh no! I guess that's a lock? Can we get a key? Okay, we'll open this. Same room structure as the one with the horse. There's nothing in here though. Nothing in the toilet. Nothing in the bathtub. I guess we'll come back here. We'll remember the cables, I guess. Oh. There's a flashing light in there. Send Rufus? Oh. Send Rufus. <gasps> there he goes! Good boy! 
Please come back. Rufus found a key! Did I pick it up? I hope so. Take it out, it hurts. Okay, no problem. Very easily removed. Okay, so we found the key. I'm gonna go back here and let this guy out, I guess. Hi. Sir? Ah! Oh no. Don't do that. He ripped his heart out. Can I have that? I kind of need it. Oh, thanks. Wow. What a generous dude. And now he's dead. Your purpose has been fulfilled. I'll make sure your death isn't in vain. Uh, okay. There's three hearts that we need to use. I'll get the third one in here. <gasps> oh my. I guess she's got a heart that she needs to give me too. Yeah, what's with the cables actually? Is there any luck? Yeah, sure. There's a fire. Okay. Glad I saw the fire. <gasps> They're watching her. Okay. Oh my. Hi. <laughs> okay, so you're not restrained anymore. Cool. I did see a fire like this way, which is odd. Take the torch. Okay, we've taken the torch. Is there something we need to light up? Don't tell me we like burn her. We use the torch. You're here for my heart? <laughs> she didn't like that. Okay, it's very bright in here. <laughs> Wait. Take a heart. Okay. She didn't put up much of a fight. She just kind of went, <laughs> and I just took it. Stop. Rosa? Don't you know where your room is? Obviously not, but thanks for throwing me in here. Oh, this is my room. <gasps> I've got like a chaperone. I've got a... <laughs> I've got a curfew. <gasps> Send Rufus. Oh, look! What a loyal dog! Send him for what? What's he gonna do though? What are you doing? What I send him to go do? Rufus found a key. I don't know. Did he put it back there? I guess. Yeah. I guess he came back again. Where'd you get that key? Did you bite that man back there? Bad dog. Okay. Let's keep going this way, I guess. Hopefully, the hall monitor won't get me this time. Bathing. I'll be back once my heart is clean. What did you write this on? <laughs> Alright. Maybe the cables are for water? I don't know. Let's follow this one. What? Okay, let's go in here. Sup? Uh, that's nice, but I'm gonna take this heart, so. Another heart, but where's the body? <gasps> Here she is. It's Maria from Silent Hill. Uh, okay. I, I guess we'll leave you to, to bathe in blood. <gasps> There's lots of bathtubs in here. Lots of bathtubs of blood. What, do we press the switch? Oh no, it's very red in here now. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Oh. There were no consequences. 
Absolutely none. It was just a weird thing that happened. Okay, let's uh, go in here now. Won't let it be it. Wait, won't let it to be ill. I won't let it to be ill. Huh? I won't hold it in my chest, trapped in this cage of ribs. I see. Oh, we go down. These poisonous veins will not infect it. Cut it all out. And just give it to me, okay? Just give it to me. Oh. <gasps> He's gone. Mysterious bald man's gone. Why am I not bleeding? There he is. Okay. Did I die without even noticing that? I don't know. It sounds like your problem, though. So I'm gonna be on my way. I mean, I'm just collecting your heart so I can make bridges. <laughs> sounds kind of weird when I say it out loud. Open the door. Yeah. Okay, we got two hearts. Do we gotta get like four this time or? It's a coffin. <gasps> Open the coffin. Oh, easy, easy heart. Give me that. I can't, I can't yet. Uh, do I gotta find his eyeballs or something? What do I gotta do to get that heart? Look, it's right there. Oh. I just wasn't in the right place. Okay. Hide. I'll hide in the coffin. The hall monitor's coming, guys. Where's your hall pass? Okay. Do I have to do anything for that? There you are! Why'd you leave your room? <gasps> Get him, Rufus! Yeah! I got my dog with me. Rose's voice. Why did I hear her voice so clearly? Because I think that was her. <laughs> Maybe. How many hearts do we need this time? Five. Wow. Let's get them. There's no hearts in here. There's four brooms and that's it. Hello. What, this way? Oh. It's the teeth from Timor Inferno. Glad to see them making a reappearance. Oh, all right. There they are again. What, now we just fall? I found a heart, how? All right, great, thanks. Is there anything here? Okay, what about this one? We need one more heart. And then we'll be able to make another bridge. I woke up. Why am I not dead? It should have ended. Why did I wake up? Kill me. Kill. Me. He wants to kill himself. There are my pills in 103. Was well, this a choice? I'm guessing he has the last heart, so we have to do it. Okay, well, I guess. Oh, hi, Rosa. See? Look at her nose. For you. Very flat. You've been given a chance. I know you can. What? Okay, we've taken the pills. Now we're going back. To give them to that guy. All right. Oh wait, wrong way. Sorry. There's the mannequin, look at it. Look at it, there it is. <laughs> Oh, he's been remade. It looks way better. 
<laughs> hey, old buddy. Haven't seen you in a few years. Look, he's got his hands dirty. Got red hands. I like him. Finally been remade. Looks pretty cool. Okay. Let's go... Give the guy our pills, I guess. What is he, right? Where is he? Here? Okay. Um, how will I take his heart? Oh, so I gotta, what, I gotta find something? I gotta find like a knife or something? To cut his heart out? I drew a painting for you, it's in the bathroom! <laughs> I love the rocking horse. <laughs> I drew a painting for you. I hope you like it. Will you frame it and put it on your wall? Where is it? Oh, it's like raining blood. <laughs> what? Oh. Thanks? I guess? <laughs> well, <laughs> it says still hungry. I guess he killed him. While he was looking at my painting, I went and killed this guy. <laughs> it was a distraction. Okay, let's see what happens. There we go. 112. Just ended already. No one cares anyway. What about your daughter? <laughs> your baby daughter. Hi. The keys to unlock the door have been stolen. The man had the courage to take them, but no intentions to use them. If you have a different purpose for those keys, I suggest you be very careful. The thief had a knife. Ah, second mention of a thief, huh? Okay. So we're, so we're going after a guy who stole the keys. Uh, was it the same guy who told me to go back in my room? The student council president? Okay. Where is he though? Was it you? You don't have a knife. In here? It's not this dude, is it? Oh my god, he does have a knife. Where's the keys, though? In the bathroom? Oh my- What? How'd I- I went in here earlier and I didn't see it. I already gave you my heart. Wasn't that enough? Alright, Tim or Dev. You're making great strides with this game. Honestly, I'll get my full thoughts in the end. But you gotta stop this. You gotta stop putting just text on stuff. <laughs> Stop doing that. It's a rookie move. Don't do it. Uh-oh, I think he's mad though. Probably gonna come after me with the knife. Uh-oh. Oh! Stop! No more, that's enough. I'm going to find Emily now. Yeah! Let's do it. Probably beyond the locked cage thing. Unlocked. Uh, let's go down the side hallway, I guess. I jerked my mouse. <laughs> so congratulations. Huh. Oh, uh, hi. No, Rufus, run. Run away from him, Rufus. What are we supposed to do? We don't have any weapons. Look at this boss design though. That's kind of cool. Okay, so maybe we... There are spikes along the side. I guess we just... Take care to... Ensure that we don't hit them or... I don't even know if it matters. I think it might just be environment design. 
So I think we're on the outer rim of the circle right now. Nope. There's this. Do we just get out of the maze? Hmm. Is this just a maze? I thought it was going to be like a boss fight. Oh, what? How'd you get here? Rufus, stay away from him. He's evil. Okay. I keep moving. Oh, no. It's a dead end. Okay, run, run, run. Ah, no. <laughs> that was kind of funny. He brought her in at the last second like, you fucked up. There he is. I guess he just spawns there no matter what. Okay, so don't go there. Because that's a dead end on both sides. Go back in. Go outside. Uh... What? Where does this go? Does this lead to the hangman's tree? I don't want to do that. Oh, we just push it off. Oh, I was hoping for combat. But this is fine. Send Rufus? Yeah. Be okay, buddy. I just saw you disappear. Uh, crap. Was this a... Maze? There's a, there, I think there's a thing on the wall, but... I mean, there's been no choices yet. Good thing we saved Rufus, though, I think. Good job! Oh, oh! No! I was gonna send him again, but I guess... No! I gotta do this again? Open up. Alright, cool. Alright. Do we just... I guess we made it to the exit. Hi, Rosa. I can't see anything. But I can feel my heart pounding. A minute of relief. There's that mannequin. What does the mannequin mean? Looks like he survived. What, Mars Voluntaria or? Painbot, data vents.subject updated. There it is. Painbot from Timor 5, remember? You remember Timor 5's plot, right? <laughs> Thank you for playing the first chapter of Timor 6. The upcoming chapters will be added in the future as free updates. Thank God. I was about to say, is, am I paying 10 bucks for like the first chapter only? Okay. Fellow YouTubers always showing their support. Shocker, I'm not on here. <laughs> okay, but actually, I have positive assessments here. I think this is the game that Timor Dev needed to make. This is the game that really showcases the strengths of Timor in that it highlights the quirkiness and the creativity that I always knew was there. And that's why the series has always been so frustrating to me is because I always felt like there was untapped potential in the games. And I felt like the developer was just settling for jump scare maps, you know, and that's not what this is. That's not what this game is. 
It's a vast improvement over the previous games. It's not perfect, but we'll get to that later. Like, cool enemy design? I liked the Mars Voluntaria boss. It would have been cooler if you could fight him, but you know, whatever. It's, uh, it's a big improvement, big step up from Timor 5. Previously, I always said that the best game in the Timor series was Timor Inferno, but even though it was the best, it was still like a four out of 10. And I maintain that, but the reason why Timor Inferno is better than all the other ones is because it was weird. It was kind of surreal. And that's the strength of the Timor series. Like in that game, you have the, the massive teeth hallway, you have like just weird stuff happening. And that's always why it stuck out to me over the other ones that are just like, there's a mannequin and ooh, a jump scare. Cause that's all they were. The first game, the second game, Timor 5 especially, I don't know what the third game was. Uh, but this one actually like gave it some character. It gave it some atmosphere, oddly enough. And there were things to do. There were like little scenarios you could run through. Very cool, actually. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Timor 6. Step in the right direction. If you're watching this, Timor Dev. Um, definitely like good things to say. However, um, I also recognize that my expectations were very low. I know I said I was going in with an open mind, and I was, but my expectations weren't for a 10 out of 10 horror experience, which this wasn't. There are still presentation problems, like he loves to write the text like directly on the door or on the wall, and that just that's bad presentation in my opinion. We saw the classic Timor tinfoil texture being used on a lot of stuff, but it wasn't being used on like everything in the game. And once again, from what I can tell, everything in the game was made by the dev. The soundtrack, all the assets used, there was nothing flipped, which is extremely rare these days, especially for a solo dev uh, working alone. So very commendable in that respect as well. I love the updated mannequin. The original that was used for the first five games never looked very good, and this one looked great. It looked like it was meant to look from the beginning. So, you know, like I said, lots of lots of positive things to say. Uh, with, with that said, um, it, is, it is somewhat derivative. It doesn't really do anything that I haven't seen before. I also think that the surreal indie horror adventure has been done a bit better in other projects like uh, iHosto games, um, Umfend and Farwalk respectively. I think those were both very good. Uh, there's also like Lonely Things, which I need to play the full version of that. I think those games have done this kind of surreal feeling a lot better than Timor 6 does because it's still it's still rooted a bit too deeply in jump scares and kind of cheap horror tactics but you know like I said this was definitely a step up and I'm encouraged by that because I think it's the first time in the series that it's been a clear improvement from its predecessor and I appreciate that so surprisingly I'm looking forward to the second chapter I'll play it when it comes out. Props to the developer, not necessarily for making a great game, but for improving on their craft and making something that's different and not going for the easy jump scare map route like they had been before. So let me know what you guys thought about Timor 6 Chapter 1, <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Think critically. <laughs>